This tutorial shows you how to publish a quiz for the World Wide Web. While a standalone web quiz does not generally have all the reporting capabilities of a learning management system, you can still collect statistics via email or server. We'll discuss that topic in another tutorial. Go ahead and click Publish. Select the Web tab. Here you can give your quiz a title and select a local folder to store the published files. And here you can select the output format. If you'd prefer not to hear all the details about these output options, then we recommend that you just select Mobile HTML5 for general purposes and click Publish. Now let's dig a little deeper into these other options. Flash format is a good format for playback on desktop PCs and older browsers like Internet Explorer 8. Also, this option enables you to publish to a single SWF file. HTML5 is the latest technology for playing rich media content on mobile devices and modern desktop browsers, and combined format provides a good balance of compatibility on all devices. Both of these options allow you to use iSpring Play, which is a special mobile app for offline previewing of HTML5 quizzes right on iPad or Android devices. Please note, if you intend to collect results from your quiz via email or server, we do not recommend using this option as results will not be sent from the app. EXE creates a single executable program file in Flash format that opens in a separate window without needing a browser. EXE is only for Windows platforms and may be blocked by some firewalls and anti-malware programs. This option will package all your files into a single zip file for convenient transport. Remember. Before you upload your quiz to the web, you must unzip this file so that a browser may access the folder structure. The player area shows your quiz as it will appear in the player according to the settings you chose from the Quizmaker toolbar. We'll cover that in another tutorial. Let's go ahead and publish. After the publishing process is complete, the quiz preview window will pop up. Here you have several options for previewing and sharing your quiz. You can see how it will look on different devices and in different browsers, attach it to an email, upload it to your website via FTP, or just open the folder to access the files directly. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.